Mangerella by Joy Camille, illustrated by Omar Lozano. Introducing Ninjarella, Fairy God Ninja, the Prince, Evil Stepmother, and Stepsisters in Ninjarella. In the beginning, Cinderella was happy. She had a family that loved her. They did everything together. To sharpen Cinderella's mind, her mother taught her to play chess. Her father taught her to use a sword so that she would be strong. But one day, her mother was gone. After her mother had passed, being smart felt useless. And being strong didn't help bring her back. But sword fighting kept her busy. So she spent every day practicing. Take that! Cinderella, you missed lunch again. Take that and that! I told you, my name isn't Cinderella anymore, Dad. So what am I supposed to call you then? Call me Ninjarella. A short time later, Cinderella, I've decided to get married. Meet your new mother. My name isn't Cinderella, Dad. It's Ninjarella. It isn't healthy for a young lady to be a ninja. You should behave more like your new stepsisters. Do they even know how to sword fight? Do you even know how to be a lady? But Ninjarella didn't want a new mother or sisters. So she spent her time hiding in the shadows. Ninjarella needed a plan. A way to make her father leave the evil stepmother. But before she could come up with a plan, her father passed away. There was nothing Ninjarella could do. She was stuck with them. They took away her ninja outfit and made her wear rags. Without her ninja outfit, she was just Cinderella again. A mere servant to her stepmother and stepsisters. Get up. You have chores to do. So Cinderella did her chores and their chores. She did all the chores every day until the sun went down. This went on for weeks. Happy birthday, Cinderella. Make a wish. And then on her 13th birthday, Cinderella's luck changed. A costume ball! A royal costume ball at the princess castle! There's a party at the castle? When? You want to go to a ball? But why? The prince is a famous sword fighter. I would love to train with him. Good grief. Only you would care about something so stupid. Don't get your hopes up. Mother will never let you go. The next day, wake up. So I have decided that you will be allowed to attend the princess royal ball. Really? Oh, thank you so much. How can I ever repay? If you finish all your chores and make yourself a costume by the time the ball begins tonight. Also, your sisters will be busy trying on their dresses, so you'll have to do their weekly chores today. That's not fair. I'll never get all that done by tonight. That's not my problem. Now get to work. So Cinderella used her ninja skills to do her chores faster than ever. Meeting the prince was her only chance to escape from the stepmother and stepsisters. He would see her sword fighting skills. He would immediately hire her as her personal bodyguard. Cinderella just knew he would. You're too late, Cinderella. We're leaving for the ball, and you don't have a costume to wear. Tough luck, Cinderella. Maybe next year. Ah! My one chance at freedom. Ruined. Oh my, poor dear, please don't cry. Who are you? Why, I'm your fairy god ninja, dear, and I'm here to help you get to the ball. Poof! Double poof! Now I can go to the costume ball. Be warned, darling, 
Your ninja outfit will turn back into rags at midnight. Soon. I am here for the costume ball. May I enter? Of course you may. Your costume is awesome. And these are my daughters, your highness. They are both old enough to be married, I might add. I just remembered that I um have something to do somewhere else. Where is he going, I wonder? Phew, I thought I'd never get out of there. This is much better. I hope you enjoy your view, your highness, because it's the last thing you'll ever see. Attack! Oh, no, you don't. Thank you, mysterious stranger. Don't thank me yet. There's more of them. Aha! Run! Nobody said the prince would have a bodyguard. Thank you. I didn't even get your name. Dong. Oh, no, it's midnight. I have to leave. Wait, don't go. Ninjarella couldn't stay. At midnight, she would turn back in into boring Cinderella, rags and all. She didn't want the prince to see her like that. Wait, mysterious stranger, you forgot your sword. Wake up. You're useless, Cinderella. Get up into your chores. Hello, I am going to every house in search of the girl who owns this sword. And so the prince had the sisters try it out. Ugh, so heavy. You are not the girl I'm looking for. Neither are you. Do you have any other daughters? No. Well, thank you for your time. I guess I'll be leaving now. Creak. Who's there? Leap. Scorch. It's you. I have been looking everywhere for you. I have a question to ask you. Will you come to the palace and be my extremely awesome royal ninja bodyguard? Heck yes! And Ninjarella protected the prince happily ever after. The end. <laughs>